Hello everyone, this is Councilman David Bazzi and it is zero degrees outside, which means it's better to be in an indoor rink than outside. And in my opinion, it's better to be in an indoor rink almost any day of the week. And welcome to hockey. And I have John Kozar with me from Hockey North America, which is an adult league for beginners and for intermediates, for people who are trying to get into hockey that maybe never got a chance to play or played very little. And it's a great program that's all across the country. We're lucky enough to have it here at the disc. And I'm gonna let John talk a little bit about what we're doing here, why we're doing it, and how you can get involved if you want to get involved. John? Okay, so we've got 20 guys gonna start learning to play today. Yeah. We get eight sessions on the ice, then we get eight games. Yeah. And then come next season, they're a team and they're gonna play 25 games against the teams that have done this in the last couple years and have gotten better and moved up every year since then. Yeah. So are the games just here at the disc or are there other places as well? Uh, we play here and we play at Southfield. Okay. Right, but we only have three ice times at Southfield. Most all the ice time is here at the disc. Okay. So in the program itself, you know, you're here to help and you have other coaches with you to help get this thing going and get people to get a start because, you know, you're an old hockey coach, I'm an old hockey coach, and we know, you know, when they're little, the absorption rate is really, really fast. And as we get old, the absorption rate is not quite as fast, but still capable of, we're capable of doing a lot of great things. Oh, yep. Everybody has the ability to, to learn to play. I've had from 21 all the way up to 55 come out to learn how to play hockey. Yeah. And it's fantastic. For me, I love the sport, and it's great to be able to get other people into it so that they can also start to enjoy it, playing it, not just watching it. Yeah, well, I think that... You know, hockey's, a, in my, you know, I'm just going to say it, and whoever doesn't agree, they cannot agree. Hockey's the greatest game there is, it is, and it's the fastest game, and it's a game that the more you understand it, the more you can appreciate the great skill levels of those guys who play at a professional level, or as I was just watching a blurb of the ECHL, um, which is a couple steps down, all-star game, which is going on. And, you know, I'm, I've been lucky enough to coach a handful of kids. Some of them have made it all the way to the NHL. A lot of them are playing in the ECHL and a couple in the AHL. And you just know that the skill level that it takes to get there, but not everyone has to play at that skill. You know, you don't have to be uh, a, a star to enjoy this game. You can just play and enjoy the game. Yes, you can just come out and play it and enjoy being on the ice and spending time for yourself away from everything else and just enjoying the game for yourself. Yeah, it's no different than golf. And you don't have to be a scratch golfer to play golf. Otherwise, yeah. very few people would play golf. That's hockey right. is the same way. You, the fundamental of hockey is learn how to skate, you know, which you can practice on your own at any time. And once you can skate, the rest of the game just kind of comes, uh, comes with it. That's right. We, uh, we get everybody learning to skate, and we teach them how to handle a puck, teach them how to pass, teach them the fundamentals of the game. We let them scrimmage and we get them into learning how to play positional hockey and what to do. Right. And it's just, it's great to watch them evolving and getting right. better every day. And these are non-check leagues, so it, non it, it isn't like you have to worry about 40 coming in and crawling into work the next day because you got clothes lined on the boards. Yep, it's non-check, no fighting. Yeah. I mean, there is contact because yeah. there is bumping, but I mean, that's with anything that you do. Yeah, well, we're not, you're not lining them up. Yep, you're not lining them up and you're coming <laughs> out to have a good time. All right. Yep. So, a question, first of all, let's, is there a website or is there a phone number that if someone said, hey, I'd really like to play? and I'd really like to get into this, how would they do that? So if you go to www.hna.com, or you actually don't need the www, just hna.com, or Google Hockey North America, or it's 1-800-4-HOCKEY. Right. The number four and then hockey. That's awesome, and so again, you come out here today, and this is the, the kind of the first of, of the skates, because you're just starting a new, a new year, right? Yep, so you guys will be able to watch them come out a lot of these guys will never had, have had equipment on before, and we're going to take them from stretching all the way up to basic skating and maybe get into a little bit more complex stuff. Right, and some will have skated because they'll just have gone to open skate and they'll be yep. better skaters than others. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it, I've always said it, it's really a kind of a, a fast curve of the one step to the next step to the next step in hockey, one of the fastest curves I've seen. Yeah, it is. These guys really improve. It's amazing from week one to week four, how much they learn. Cause we'll have them going backwards, doing crossovers and all that by the fourth week. Yeah, It's, just, it's impressive how fast you can pick it up. 
Well, that's awesome. It almost makes me want to get back to coaching. Almost, I said. Not, not, not all the way yet. Maybe after I give up this gig, um, we can figure out a new thing to get back into hockey again. Because I will tell you, some of the best times I had in my life was spending on the ice with kids. Yep. And so this has to be a great enjoyment for you as well. So you have referees. We have, yes, we have. The, the games are 15-minute stop time period. So we play 45 minutes of game time. Games are about an hour and a half long, hour and 20. Mm -hmm. Two referees. We have a scorekeeper that does all the games. It's it's like a normal hockey game. So just like just like little kids, when you when you figure out who your goalie is, how do, how do you figure out who your goalie is here? Well, hopefully you get somebody <laughs> that's crazy enough that wants to be a goalie. Yeah. Well, that's hard. You know, you, know, you got to find somebody who loves being a goalie. Oh yeah. It's you know it's the same thing when you used to go play pickup hockey, right? That's right. You just had to make sure you got a couple goalies show up. That's the most important thing is the goalie because it's <laughs> not fun to play six guys. No, yep. no, it's not. Um, last thing, when these guys are done, you said they go into a league, they, these two guys become a team. Yeah, so, so, so the main league, the main league of HNA in Detroit, we have 20 teams broken up into four different divisions. Um, the lowest division that we call C3 is where these guys would go into okay. once they go in. So, and last year we had two teams go through the program. So they'll go up and play against those two teams and one other team. Okay. Because the, the teams from prior years have gotten better and they've moved up into the higher divisions. Oh, so. You know, that's pretty awesome. Are these guys, are these guys friends then? Do they come over as a group or do they just happen to sign nope, up they're, randomly? They're random. they're random guys that have come out to learn. Some are friends, some aren't friends. Mm -hmm. They'll all soon become really good friends yeah. after learning to play hockey and being on a team together. It's the greatest thing in the world. Well, I have to tell you that there's nothing like team sports. There's nothing like team camaraderie. And if you're sitting out there and you're saying and you're watching a game, you said, you know, I never really played. I didn't really have a chance to get skates on. You know, in my house, we just, we played hockey. Um, some other people didn't play hockey. And there were lots of kids that later on just said, you know, I never really got a chance to skate. Yep. So if you're sitting there and you're thinking you're 30 years old, you're 40 years old, this is an opportunity for you because it's never too late. It's never too late to come out here, have some fun, get a little exercise, meet some people, be friends. You know, that it's real simple. The people that socialize the most and the people that spend the most time in group settings are the ones that are the happiest and live the longest. So think about that. That's right, absolutely. The, my best friends in the world are the ones that I'm playing hockey with right now. They're, they are the best friends that I'll ever have. John, thank you. Yep. Good luck. I'm not going to keep you off the ice here. Okay. Um, it was great. You know, I got this was a, you know, I got a call to say, hey, would you like to do this? And I can't believe just how excited I am for this program and for you guys and for anybody else who wants to get out here and play a little hockey. Well, thank you, David. I appreciate your time. Yeah. Thanks yep. so much. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate that. Yep. Thank you. Hey, this is Councilman Bazzi. It's hockey season. Don't just sit at home saying, you know what? I wish I could play, because you got a chance to play right now and come out here with guys like this. We're going to teach you how to play the game. The more you know about it, the more you're going to love it, the more you're going to go to see other games. And it doesn't matter, just professional hockey. There's so much good youth hockey, intermediate hockey all around this area. Come on out and enjoy. At the same time, stay warm and come on down to a rink.